Hello, in a few previous episodes we have been working on using the GMI calendar where we could either download an event and manually add it to the calendar or send it as an email and automatically add it to somebody's calendar. And in this episode we are going to work on calendar subscriptions. So what are calendar subscriptions? Here in Google Calendar you see there are my calendars and then there are other, other calendars. And these are basically URLs to some kind of external calendars that uh, uh, have some kind of events and that you can see inside your calendar. We've got this in Google Calendar and basically in any calendar client. Here, for example, also I have my calendars and some kind of other calendars. I can go to add a new calendar subscription and I need a URL. So we're going to make it so that anybody can add a URL uh, of your calendar and subscribe to it and see events from your calendar and have them automatically pinged and updated from time to time. So uh, here is an example use case here. I've uh, got an application on Heroku. I already have this subscribe to calendar button and um, I will click open calendar. Here you see there is a link to the calendar. It has the webcal protocol slash games dot ICS. I will click subscribe and it's trying to add these events to my calendar. Now you see the events have been uh, added to the calendar. So here is, well, here is one of these uh, events. I can uh, uh, not display it or I can display it. But basically a remote calendar has been added to our application. We can uh, do the same with uh, our Google Calendar. I will uh, copy this URL. I will go to Google Calendar, click uh, from URL. So add calendar from URL, click add. And now it is uh, going to go to this URL and get a list of games and display them. So here is one game, here are some other games. I can, uh, of course, uh, either display them or not as I want. So how can we do it? Here I have just my local host. I've already got a list of games and uh, I need to add this button, subscribe to calendar. So what is the button going to look like? I will go to games index and I will say equals link to subscribe to calendar then we will say games url it is important to use url but not path to have the full url together with https or uh, webcal or whatever then we will say protocol will be webcal and the format will be ics now what happens when i click this button i click this button and it tries to go to this games.ics, but it would uh, not work. Let's maybe try doing it. You see, there is an, an unexpected error because uh, we cannot yet respond to format ICS from our games controller. So I'll go to the games index and say respond to do format, format.html, the default one, and also format.ics. And inside format ICS, we're going to create a calendar. Now, we already did something similar in previous episodes where we had an iCalendar event. We created a new calendar, added an event, and so on. So let me just copy this previous code, and we will leave only the stuff that we really need here. So uh, we will not need these. We will need sequence, UID, location, IP class, not really important. So only the most important things. And I need to iterate through all the games so that we add each of the games into our calendar. So I will say add games dot each do game. And for each of the games, I'm going to add the, an event. So I will say, uh, yeah, I need to make this a local variable. And you should always be sure, double sure that the UID is unique. So uh, you can add the name of your application. A good way is uh, actually to be adding the URL of the game, but be sure that the URL, uh, I mean, the ID of uh, a calendar event is unique. Otherwise it might not show up properly in your calendar. So uh, here we have uh, a calendar. We have a list of games. We are adding uh, each of these games as a calendar event and uh, I will also need to say uh, render plain calendar dot to ical. Okay, and uh, one more thing I need to do so that you see the calendar here has a name, the calendar 
uh, in Google has uh, a name, so we will need to uh, set the calendar name and it will be uh, set as cal.xwl name equals super rails episodes, for example. Okay, let's see if this works. I will uh, go back, click to subscribe to calendar. Here is the URL on localhost. It might actually work with your native local uh, calendar application. Let me click subscribe. And uh, you see the events have been added. So it is, works. This is uh, the subscription to the remote calendar. Here is the URL on Heroku. And this is uh, the URL on localhost. So this way in the local host, I managed to subscribe to my calendar with a list of games and I see all the games in my calendar in the past and in the future. So that's really neat. And now you can uh, just push it to Heroku and it will work. But uh, be sure one really important thing uh, that this action is accessible without having to log in. So anybody in the internet should be able to have uh, uh, this URL to the calendar working. Otherwise, your calendar application might not be able to pin this URL and uh, display the events in your calendar correctly. So, for example, if you are using a device for authentication, you would have to say something like skip before action, authenticate user, and only index. This is if you are using device, but for other authentication libraries, it might be different. So, I guess that's it. Basically, inside the index action, we've added a link to subscribe to the calendar. We should use URL but not path, protocol webcal, format ICS. And here in the games controller, knowing that we already have installed the gem i calendar, we generate a new calendar and uh, we add the name of the calendar and we add each of the games to the calendar and publish it. So that's about it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.